the word of god is alive and powerful sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow and it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart all scripture is god breathed and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness that the man of god might be mature thoroughly furnished unto all good works study to show thyself approved unto god a workman that needeth not to be ashamed or rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth Before we could continue, we need to make sure that we have been filled with the Spirit, are controlled with the Spirit. The mechanics being very simple, use the privacy of your priesthood if you are a believer already in the Savior. And if you are not a believer, know the mechanics of believing in the Lord, which is very simple, to believe in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In order to believe in each other, Lord God the Father, that you believe upon his Son, that is the moment that we shall have the sectional life granted to you. But what do you believe, why you believe, and what for you believe, is what truly the gospel worker can let you know. At the same time, the pastor teacher also can call to you at the end of evangelism, during the end of his sermon. For an, un- for an unbeliever, the reality is nothing but what is your hope? What is your salvation? Is there any God besides our rock? Or is there any gods that can match with our Lord? That's why the salvation is being paid in full. The creator of this mankind is our Lord God Jehovah, Lord Almighty, Lord God the Father being done and executed by Lord God the Son, revealed by Lord God the Holy Spirit. The only true reasons wherewith you and I have to concentrate upon today. The same God anthropomorphically spoken to us so that we can understand. God being one in essence and three in personalities, we need to look. The salvation work which has been designed for us and given to us, and why is it that we are not capable of understanding the simple truth? Because when an unbeliever believes all the wages of sin is death, he will say ultimately, because of my sin which I have been doing, I will be ending up in death. But he doesn't know the second verse which tells, all men have sinned and come short of the glory of Jehovah. All the wages of sin is death, absolutely fine. Sin is what? Unbelieving in the Lord, unbelieving in Christ. To express your evolution that he is the only Savior. As he has dogmatically claimed himself. That I am the way, the truth, and the life. And we are going to endorse it by our witnessing to believe upon him. And that witnessing is what you and I as a believer have done it. And the unbelievers have not done it. Like Sheikh Ahmad Dida, Zakir Naik, or a multitude. Any man who has been born with the copulation of a male and a female is made into the old sin nature. Passing down of the human genes of a male one. The chromosomes of 23. But whereas when we come in the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ is a virgin birth. It doesn't involve the male chromosomes. Miraculously provided by Lord God, the Holy Spirit, to fertilize the woman. Because when he has created you and me, can't he create those things? It may sound foolish to you, but we believe it by faith. Since we believe, we are going to see. But you see and you believe, that's why you're not going to become a true believer of Jehovah. We believe what our Lord has told. Believe upon me and you shall be saved and we follow it. And we shall see what is the eternal life as well. And we shall see those who have rejected the Lord burning in the hell. Bible dogmatically claims the presence of the heaven and the hell as many people speculate that there is no heaven, there is no hell. The earth only is the only heaven. Not only to the believers we have amillennialism, postmillennialism, premillennialism, not having a proper term for dispensation wherewith you can understand what is millennium. 
and this man not only in the believing sect even among the unbelieving sect they are atheists rationalists empiricists the great one Emmanuel Kant as well the hago who has told we learn from history we learn nothing from history because they do not know what is the revolution of the history because our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ controls history and to learn that history it has to be done by the process of Lord God the Holy Spirit very clearly to be thought for us and how Lord God the Holy Spirit can teach to us until and unless you are a believer in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ by expressing your volition in the privacy of your soul the freedom that has been given to you either spiritual freedom or the freedom core of your establishment of your country the gospel when it has been presented to you your volition to believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ your volition to know that he is the only true Savior your volition to make sure that he is the only one that shall reign forever and forever and there is none who has told like our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who told I am the way the truth and the life what a great benefit it is for us to note these things dear brethren what a great truth it is for us to understand these things, dear brethren. And why aren't we capable of understanding this simple truth? Sign of unbelief. There are several occasions when demons believe what is the power of God. It has been told very constantly and very clearly to the point of realization for us. When that simony was being wanted, with his sons to look upon and to tell Demon get away the way that Demon whitewashed them black and blue telling that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I know telling that Paul I know but who you are I don't know even Demons believe what is the power of Jehovah? What is the power of his work? And how we have to be very much careful about this work. But these unbelievers have not been made known to believe. Do you know why? The trap caused by Satan. The trap which has been leading them not to believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Satan being transformed itself into like the angel of light, which is metaschematizoa, which is not metamorphomai. And this metaschematizoa has caused many people not to know the truth, not to understand the truth, not to make a point of realizing what will be the truth. And there are several people in this Christendom who have truly failed to inculcate the realization of Bible doctrine. Therefore, dear brethren, you and I as a believer in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ have to be constantly mindful of the very words which have been spoken for us. The very words wherewith you and I have to give number one priority and we have to be not to waste our time, but purchase our time in the realm of Bible doctrine. Not as fools who walk, but as wise men, discerning what is right and what is wrong. And to be wise men and to discern what is right and what is wrong, it demands the knowledge of Bible doctrine. Without the true knowledge of Bible doctrine, it is not possible for us to discern. It is not even possible for us to come close to call the great protocol plan of God, the great use of Ayah, the great godliness. Not only we are capable of looking around and to understand the principle of the reality of this unique spiritual life followed by spiritual self-esteem or spiritual autonomy and then by spiritual maturity. And when we pass down together, we are going to reach the maximum glorification of Christ. And why do you want to still lang around or look around for your sin if you're all sin nature? As a believer, the great sin for you is that you have rejected Bible doctrine. As an unbeliever, the great sin for you will be that you have rejected our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, gracious salvation. And since there are many people who have been neglecting this great salvation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we will definitely see them burning in the hell. 
and priority to learn doctrine, it is quite essential for us that we make rebound as number one priority. The doctrine that we are going to go through demands that each and every believer could learn to the point of learning the word of the Lord. And what is the point of learning the word of the Lord if it is not by the spiritual phenomena of land get the Holy Spirit to be taught? And what doctrine you are going to learn if it has not been taught for you properly under the true mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. And whereas for the unbelievers, number one, believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is not an issue of rebound. It is an issue of your believing in Christ. Those who have not believed have already been judged and condemned. And they have been judged and they have been aboundingly judged to the lake of fire. But with God, there is no compromise. He did not spare Moses, whom he has chosen to lead the people out of that Egypt bondage, when he failed to go for circumcision. And above all, he did not even make him to enter into the land of Canaan, flowing with milk and honey, for his failure to keep the integrity of Jehovah by having absolute faith in them. King David was not been spared. Though he was a man after God's own heart, and he was not allowed to build the temple of Jehovah. Isaiah was not been absolutely allowed to go through to write the true edification process until and as he had the propitiatory offering of that seraphim with a live coal into his lips. These believers whom we are mentioning, even Apostle Paul, who made a war to Jerusalem to be once again to prove to the minds of those Judea others that he was still following the Jewish traditions. God had a purpose with him to write for us this church age corpus. And God wanted him to be in Rome, but this time he bought him through chains. And in Philippians he writes, the time where I would have been spent more to write the word of the Lord, I have spent very less because, I have, because of my foolishness. Not to be to the right adherence of God's truth. Every believer is a failure. But great believers are those who use rebound, the penitent one. Because our Lord is a gracious one. His mercies have been renewed day by day. Not to use in vain. Not to be thoroughly condemned at the judgment seat of Christ. You have a chance of rebound today. You have still a chance to get back to the fellowship of Jehovah today. Then get back. The greater your negligence to get back into the fellowship of Lord God Almighty. The greater your negligence to look and to understand the true grace of Lord which could be bestowed upon us. Dear brethren, with an unbeliever, the issue is to make them to understand, to believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, whereas for the believer, it is to make you to understand the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. The living, partaking fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, in learning the word of the Lord more clearly and more accurately. Without this, there is not even one single millimeter that you can budge enough to grow up to be standing at the judgment seat of Christ, that you have done valiantly the work of Jehovah. No matter the greater your failure to use rebound in the privacy of your priesthood, take it granted, your prayers are not going above your ceiling, your works are not efficient, because you are working out for the physical realm of this earth, but not for the eternal realm of heavenly word. So which way you want to go, you decide. We will continue in the next tape. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that I was given to follow Spirit through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, will enlighten us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge our in Lord. Father, asking question, Father. Amen.